<clears throat> Ahead of the full effects Scandinavia on May the 12th at the Hotel at Six in Stockholm, we're talking to some of our speakers about some of the key issues they're facing in their industry today. I'm delighted to be joined by David Faulkner, who is MD and Global Head of Sales and Business Development for Fluent Trade Technologies. Um, David, thanks for your time today and also for joining us next week. I thought it'd be interesting to talk about speed. Um, everyone knows about speed from a trading execution point of view, but it's quite important around some of the operational aspects of trading, isn't it? Where, where do you see like, you know, there needs to be more focus on speed? Uh, well, thanks for uh, the invitation to join today, Colin, and uh, very much looking forward to the event next week. Um, yeah, as you said, uh, speed, I think it's, it's well understood about uh, some of the benefits uh, throughout the market data and execution life cycles, uh, both for uh, makers and takers, uh, but also for venues as well. Um, uh, so, you know, I, I think everyone understands the benefits of speed there. Um, but if you look at uh, risk calculation and, uh, and, and even further down the technology stack to deal capturing, uh, position management, et cetera, et cetera, you know, naturally, the fastest you can acquire that information and do the correct calculations, whether that be for, again, positions, uh, credit and trading risk elements. So, you know, uh, ha having full insight to uh, your actual risk exposure across your client base, not just in not just your own proprietary risk. Um, but if you can do those calculations in real time, um, you can obviously make decisions on the back of those far more accurately. You can mark to mark them far more accurately. Uh, so not only does that help uh, some of the operational aspects, um, but also, you know, the regulatory aspects as well, because you can always be 100% uh, assured with the speed of those calculations that you're adhering to all of your uh, uh, regulatory requirements. Yeah, I and mean, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because it's it's really becoming a bit of a scale issue as well as speed, isn't it? Because you know, you're talking about the risk limits there. You know, an institution is probably pumping out you know thousands of prices in very quick time, and actually it becomes a question of managing scale as well as or should I say marrying the speed to the scale. Certainly, when you're talking about trading limits for your client bases, yes, you know it can be uh, that can be a minefield because. You have to do lots of credit carve outs across lots of different venues. Of course, some of those are all statically managed. Um, so, you know, we're looking to automate far more in that environment as well, which uh, will not only uh, make it a lot easier to manage, but, you know, the speed to react and um, and ensure that you're, you're not allocating credit lines or trading lines over and above what you need to helps with your capital allocation uh, regulations, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh it, it can have a di it can have a dynamic impact uh across many avenues yeah so i guess yeah. for the end client it's more yeah you know, question if, if if the lps are getting better data and are operationally more sound that should drift through to more robust liquidity streams for clients uh, absolutely because you know they're, they're being able to uh access the pool of liquidity from their liquidity provider um, and if they're matching on any other platforms as well they're being updated and so they're not exhausting the credit line or or or, or working against opposing positions uh, across many different execution avenues that's correct yeah yeah um well i look forward to seeing you next week dave and you know i'm sure we'll have a really great discussion uh, dave is on the next generation technology uh, panel which is our roundtable thought leadership session to close out the conference. So remember, you can join us at the hotel at six, May the 12th in Stockholm. You can register on the FullFX website, thefullfx.com. David, thanks very much for today and I look forward to seeing you next week. Uh, and you, colleague, it'd be great to see you. Take care.